Well, it's supposed to be illegal to sell College World Series tickets for more than face value near TD Ameritrade Stadium. Yes, but despite that, police say scalpers are having a field day selling those tickets for far more than they should cost. Our Fox 42 news cameras caught people in the act trying to gouge fans out of their money. Fox 42 news reporter Kurt Casper confronted one of them. Did you try, sir? I don't sir. have any tickets, sir. But you tried to sell a ticket for $150. No, I don't even have any tickets. You did? Caught on camera. Watch as this man tries to take money right out of the wallets of fans. Yeah, take it. We mic'd up this fan to try to find out just how expensive it would be to get a ticket. It's illegal to sell tickets over face value near the stadium, but as you can see, this man wanted more. Man, can come on that price? More than four times the face value. We mic'd up the guy and brought him over to you and he tried to sell for $150. I don't have any tickets. So you deny doing it? This is a problem for the Alpin family. They drove up from Alabama. Already it's an expensive trip. You know, if you're spending 100 $150 a piece on a ticket, you know, it gets quite expensive. As the championship series continues tonight, fans are just hoping they can get in and cheer on their team for a decent price. Uh, especially, you know, teams like us, we're not, we're not here every year. So when we do come up, we would like to get tickets, you know, and go see our team. And police say that if you have any questions about scalpers or paying way too much money, to just give them a call. Reporting from Baseball Village, Kirk Casper, Fox. 42 News. And Omaha Police spokesperson James Shade said there have been 16 scalping ticket arrests over the CWS. That's not including arrests made today. President Obama.